Hi, I was playing with uh, Design Edge a little bit with uh, doing some simple calculations and things, and I came up with a circle jig for a router. This is for a small router, like a DeWalt 611 or one of the Porter Cable small routers. Um, this circle here, I believe, is four inches in diameter, if I'm not mistaken. If I remember correctly, let's measure it here real quick. Yeah, it's four inches in diameter. So if you have a router with a with up to a four inch base, I have a four hole mount and a three hole mount built into it. And what you can do is you can you can route this. Um, uh, this is not for the plasma cam router table. This is for a workshop if you need to cut some circles. And uh, what these holes are is uh, you would bring in the uh, cut file which I'll show you in a minute. And uh, these are eighth inch holes, one eighth inch in diameter. And what you would do is you would have the router go to these individual points and just plunge down through the material and drill eighth inch holes. And what uh, what that would do is it would give you a place to put this, this jig on a pin on any one of these holes. And you'll notice it says quarter inch bit only here. Uh, this is for these, these holes are calculated to give you accurate holes with a one quarter inch diameter bit only. If you use an eighth inch bit or a three quarter inch bit, your holes are going to be off. So it has to be a quarter inch bit that you're cutting your circles with. But the way this works, we'll get a little closer here to look at it. The way this works is, let's say we have a, a quarter inch bit, a Q.25 enter, and it is in the center of our router right there. Okay. If you want to cut a, let's say a four inch hole. Okay. Um, you would drop this hole here onto your pin to cut a four inch hole, and it will give you an exactly a four inch hole. I'll show you that. Q4 enter. And I'll put it on uh, on this uh, uh, node point snap here, right there. Okay, and as you can see, when um, when you take this and you rotate it, if, if that pin right there is being used, and you rotate it. On that point, you can see that your your router bit. No, oh, not gonna not gonna show me. <laughs> Hold on a second. I gotta include that with it group. Okay. Uh, if I were to take that and rotate it on that point right there, you can see that your router bit will cut exactly a four inch hole all the way around inside your material okay now that's the first row of holes here and the first row here the first row here etc the second row is for a four inch disc if you want to end up with a disc that is exactly four inches in diameter you would use the outside hole so i'll delete this well i'll leave it there i'll tell you what q4 enter and i'll say node point and i'll put that on the outside hole and as you can see, your router bit would then cut your router bit would cut on the outside of this circle and give you exactly a four inch disc. So the first hole here is a four inch hole. The second pin point here is, is for a four inch disc. And we have we started two and a half inches, two and three quarter, three. These are quarter inch increments. So this is three and a quarter inside and outside, three and a half, three and three quarter, four, all the way up to five. And it goes all the way up to a 13 inch diameter hole, either inside or outside, 13 inch diameter. Here's 12 inch here, 12 inch hole. You would put your eighth inch locator pin through this hole and if you needed a 12 inch disc you would put your eight inch locator pin on this hole etc 
so anyway, I went ahead and designed this thing, and uh, I did it kind of for fun, and, and I, I think it would be best to route this out of, uh, uh, with your CNC machine, route it out of acrylic or route it out of um, uh, a hard, you know, birch plywood or something like that. And um, uh, what it would do is it would, uh, it would give you a way to take your router in a workshop and if you needed some 10 inch discs, you'd simply set, drill an eighth inch pilot hole and stick a metal pin in it and drop it onto that hole right there. And your quarter inch bit would give you exactly a 10 inch hole in your material. This hole on the top up here above on the upper row would give you a 10 inch disc that would drop out of the material. Uh, this has all been calculated. It should be accurate. I have not made one to test it, but it should be accurate. It tests out okay in Design Edge. So that's all that uh, that's all I have at the moment. As I say, each row of uh, one eighth inch diameter holes can be placed over a pin of an eighth inch diameter. So you would drill a little locator pin in your material and drop a metal pin in there that's an eighth inch diameter and then drop one of these holes over that pin and depending on which hole you select you will either get a hole or a disc of the correct diameter according to this gauge here. Um, this is just a fun little thing I made. Uh, I'm going to make this file available if I can. I don't know how to do it but I'm going to try and make it available for download from YouTube. Uh, the owner's community. I could put it on the owner's community but uh, <laughs> uh, the owner's community doesn't seem to be working right now. So anyway, today is December, what is it? Uh, December 19th. So at the moment, it doesn't seem to be working. Maybe they'll get it up and running. But um, let me know if you like this. Now I'm going to press the F10 key and you'll notice here's the cut paths. Um, this is, um, these are all the cut paths. And if you go to cut it out with a router, um, I'll show you what it'll do. We'll just set up a little delay on here so you can see what's happening. And I'll start it. And what it's going to do is it's going to plunge each of those holes. So the router would move to the position and then the Z would plunge. And the gantry and the carriage do not move. It's just a Z plunge into the material with an eighth inch bit. And what that does is that makes these holes uh, in the... Uh, in the template. I'll speed it up a little bit and um, oh, Sorry There we go. So after it makes all of these holes Then it will go ahead and cut these slots For your router. It's either a three hole router or a four hole router and then it'll cut the outside and so um, Go ahead and play with this and let me know how you like it and if it works for you, I'd appreciate your feedback uh, to let me know how things are going. And I'll be more than happy to, um, to uh, work with anybody if they need some modification to this tool or whatnot, or if they need something similar. This is the kind of stuff I do for fun. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. After Christmas and New Year's and going into 2020, I am going to make myself available for one-on-one -on -one training. Uh, either for you or you and your wife or you and your son or you and your grandson or granddaughter or whatever. Um, I live in Kentucky and I will travel around the country a little bit. It gives me an opportunity to, to, opportunity to get out of the house and go train people on Design Edge software to help them figure out how to use it. I am not an expert at Design Edge. I'm pretty good with it. I'm still learning new stuff every day. But uh, I can help you um, get better at doing designs and things uh, using this software. And um, I even have some new tools to introduce to people. Uh, after this, my recent trip to uh, Florida and Virginia and Tennessee, I came, came home with a few goodies. So I'm going to share those with you as well. Anyway, um, that's the video. Um, you probably won't hear from me again until after Christmas. So have a wonderful Christmas and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.